Good morning guys, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, today we are looking at seven days of food based off of the Slimming World vegan seven day menu. So this is the original menu. Um, obviously it's copyrighted material, but I've adapted it slightly so we should be okay. So this is the original off the app or the website. And I've actually made a adapted version because I've obviously gone through and done some planning for the week. Now, what this means is that we're eating different food every day, which is not something I would normally do just to save money. So this could be quite an expensive week. It should be quite interesting to find out. The way I've planned some of the recipes are actually to make extra portions because I'll then freeze them and it seems like less of a waste of buying, you know, lots of different things in one go um, and potentially not having waste, but it just seems like a better way of stretching sort of a bit of money out. Um, and then I'll, I'll freeze some stuff. So I'll have some stuff going into another week so it won't make it quite so costly. Um, because the thing with all these plans is they're great, but you know, in real life, who has time to cook a different meal every day um, with all different ingredients from scratch, etc. Now I'll give them their due. Some of the things on here are really good ideas and it was stuff I would never would have thought of. Like, I know this sounds really dumb, but like hummus on a jacket potato just would not compute. That's not something I would ever think of. So props to them for that. Um, I'm going to try and prep some things in advance, but some things, most of it will be made on the day because they are fairly easy recipes. Um, and like I said, I've adapted some to make them actually easier, uh, simpler using less ingredients, etc. Um, for you guys, I have made another PDF. I know that everyone liked the last couple that I made. So I've done you a PDF to go with this video. It contains my adapted version of this plan. So your seven day uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. It also contains the shopping list that you'll need for everything, including what you'll need to check your cupboards for. Um, so that's all your herbs and spices and soy sauce, that kind of. Thing, you know, the things that you're not gonna to need to buy every time because it's the stuff you've already got in the cupboard. So there's a list of things to check there. So you basically just tick off what you've got and then just take the rest of the shop and then happy days you've got a shopping list made. And then finally, the instructions and what I've prepped um, in advance. So today is Sunday. It's the first day of me doing this plan. Um, as I said, it's a seven day plan. They don't specify days, they just say days one, two and three, etc. They've obviously made it so that six and seven are Saturday and Sunday because they've done cooked breakfast on those days, which is fine by me. Um, I'm doing it Sunday to Saturday just because next Sunday I've got a fossil hunt and uh, it will be impractical to follow this plan. So I'm starting it today on a Sunday. Um, I need to go to a couple of different shops with my shopping list that I've created. Um, but first we're gonna have some breakfast. So. This is something I haven't shown on my uh, channel before, but look at these. This is New York Bakery Soft Seeded Bagel Thins. And one of these is your healthy extra B choice. So they're quite good actually, because they're not that much smaller than a normal bagel, I don't think. So I'm quite pleased to find these. Now I found them in Waitrose and they're a pound for a pack normally, which I think is quite good, but they had them on offer when I went yesterday, oh sorry, Friday, and they were 80p for a pack of four. So I think that's good, and I bought loads and I put them all in the freezer if I'm honest, um, just because I don't go to Waitrose very much, it's like a, I treat it like a specialty shop, so I'll go in there when I've got a few ingredients that I wanna get that I can't get anywhere else, or that is more convenient to get there. So being that I was in Waitrose, the first thing I did was adapt the Sunday meal because they suggested tofu. I'm just going to tell you the Swimming World plan, day seven. There we go. So it's tofu toast that they've suggested. But this isn't tofu scramble. Don't get excited. They've said, mix together a blend of cumin and paprika and once the crumbled tofu is cooking, sprinkle over the top, serve on your choice of healthy extra bee toast. I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Um, dry, bland, no veggies, no flavour, nothing. So I've changed it to a BLT bagel. Not at all to do with the fact that I already had some veggie bacon. Um, you guys do you. Um, I'm not so fast on breakfast because like, to be honest, I'll happily eat the same breakfast day after day, but 
for this video, I'm having a different breakfast every day, so I hope you guys appreciate this. But this is the bacon I'm using. It's um, just one I found in Waitrose. I can't remember how much it was, but um, I try, I have, I've had half the pack. So basically it costs, it's sorry, it's seven and a half sins for the whole pack and um, half the pack is four sins. There's 10 slices in the pack. I had five, so I have five left. So that will be four sins for my bacon. There is less Sydney bacon out there, but I've got to say, this is actually really tasty. I was really impressed with it. It's the, it's not as meaty as the Vivera bacon pieces. It's not as stodgy as the, this isn't bacon. I've got to say of all the vegan bacons that I've tried so far, which is just those two, I think. Um, but this is definitely the best one. Oh, excuse my giant, like really thick furry hoodie, but I'm just really cold. So, um, I'm uh, snuggled up. Anywho, so yeah, so I'm gonna have my bacon, which is four sins. I'm gonna have my bagel, which is obviously my healthy extra bee choice. I've got some tomatoes, so ideally a BLT, you'd have some slices of tomato. I only have these little vine tomatoes that I got reduced, but to be honest, they're barely ripe, so they're good. Um, I was kind of thinking I might do them in the pan like this, they look really cool then, don't they? Um, and then I'll just pluck them off the stalk to eat. And then for the lettuce part of my BLT bagel, I've got some baby mixed kale salad left that really needs eating. So I'll use some of that. I've also got some pea shoots, because I love pea shoots. This is my favorite salad combo, baby kale and pea shoots. And the only place that I can find these two is in Sainsbury's, but not any normal Sainsbury's. It has to be a giant Sainsbury's. Um, so do try them. The baby cow is like, you can tell it's just really healthy, but it is like a little bit bitter. But then the pea shoots are really nice and sweet, so they kind of offset it. So like you're getting, you feel like you're getting really healthy stuff and treat stuff. <laughs> um, maybe that's just the way I think. Anywho, I don't think I'm gonna need any spread on my bagel because I think the tomatoes will be juicy enough. I was thinking about putting a bit of vegan mayo on, or even kind of, ah, oh, bear with me. Okay, instead of mayo, we're gonna use this, which is the Alpro Plain No Sugars. This is sin free. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit of that on the bagel and place some mayonnaise. Oh, I can't wait. I'm also gonna go make a latte as well, because as you guys know, I love my coconut milk lattes and that will be one of my healthy extra A choices for the day. So I'll still have one left for later. This is a food waste bag, ready for my day of chopping. So, got my bagels. The first thing I'm gonna do is pop one under the grill. I can't even open them. Once you've wrestled a bagel out, <laughs> um, these are quite good by the way, look, this is them. They are quite thin, but still a bagel. They're still not completely flat. Anyway, I'm just gonna put it under the grill for like two seconds because my grill burns stuff really easily and my smoke alarm's really sensitive, <laughs> so. I just want the inside done. Now we're gonna use a pan and just do the bacon and we're gonna try not to use any oil because this is quite fatty, which I guess is why it's so high in tins anyway.
so as you saw my first lot of bagels went horribly wrong because obviously I forgot about them because that's what I do um but my BL2 is ready so I'm quite looking forward to eating this. Now I didn't add any extra oil, all the oil came from the bacon and it was enough to cook the tomatoes in. So um, that shows why it's so nice in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this. So I've got to say, I've also got my latte that I made. This is just 400 mils of uh, Alpro coconut milk and uh, it's an instant espresso mix that I use. And then obviously, just showing you guys how I use the shopping list I created. I basically took a screenshot on my phone, erased all of the things I already had using a white uh, pen. And then when I was at the shop, I highlighted everything that I wanted to buy at later points in the week. Hey guys, um, I just got back from shopping and um, you can see my purchases arrayed beautifully across my countertop. Uh, this lot cost me, oh my God, 56 pounds, um, in fairness, quite a lot of that was on the fruit. Um, so I guess it's my fault for choosing more expensive fruit, but I really like the soft fruits and stone fruits. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, it's 11, 12, 12 pounds on fruit actually. So that makes me feel a bit better because at least it wasn't like silly things. Um, Anyway, I'll just flip the camera so you can see what I've got. So, yeah, this is what £12 of fruit looks like, crazy. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of plastic, but you know what? This is how stuff comes. And this isn't a big Tesco um, where I go here. It's a smaller one. So, A, they're limited on how much they can actually fit in the store, and B, you're limited on choice quite a lot. So, some things were good. These were a pound on offer, that was good. These are extra things I bought that I wasn't planning to. Um, beetroot for salad, because I love it. And um, chickpeas and five beans. Um, these were a pound each or two for one forty. So obviously I bought a second one because for 40p, that seems silly not to. And the chickpeas, um, well, all beans are like always on three for one fifty. So uh, made sense just to get a third one. Um, and I also got this instead of spaghetti. I have whole wheat spaghetti, but I was just so taken when I saw <laughs> this lovely spaghetti stuff so um i'll be trying that because that looks really fun but yeah apart from that is everything that was on the list um there's a few things i didn't get uh, also i would have got whole wheat couscous but again this tesco doesn't have the variety so they only have normal couscous which is sad but hey ho um that's various tins and things and then obviously all the fruit and vegetables Things like, oh, um, I was planning on getting This Isn't Chicken, so I was gonna do a Holland and Barrett run in the week, but they had the Vivera ones, and this was two pounds instead of three pounds. So, and I think This Isn't Chicken costs like 350 or maybe even four pounds for a pack. So um, I got this to try it. I haven't actually tried this one before, and I'm not sure of the sins, but I know it's a relatively low one, so I'm um, quite looking forward to trying that. Oh, and I also got radishes that went on the list um, to go in my salads. Uh, I didn't get smoked tofu yet either because I don't do smoked tofu in that Tesco. So um, yeah, basically I'll need to get some more leaves in the week because I didn't buy any today because I've already got some in the fridge as you saw this morning. And um, so leaves in the week and I think a couple of tomatoes I need that I thought I'll get in the week and uh, some more mushrooms probably and smoked tofu still. But apart from that, it's pretty much everything. And of course, the main thing is not to forget that a lot of this will make more than just this week's food. So for example, obviously pasta and couscous, there's gonna be a lot left over from those. So um, that's cool. Um, and that pasta as well, um, potatoes. Instead of buying separate potatoes. I've just got a big bag of them. These are Maris Pipers um, and they were two pounds for this big bag. And there's some decent sized ones in there. So I thought that's fine. I use them for jackets as well. But yeah, basically that's what 56 pound of food looks like, which doesn't seem like very good value to me. It seems very expensive, but Tesco and also a smaller Tesco is not, um, not the optimum place to do shopping. Hi again. Okay, so, sorry, I don't know why the angles are not working out. But anyway, um, 
I'm now going to make my lunch for Sunday and um, I'm also going to, while it's cooking, make my lunch for tomorrow, which is Monday for at work, which should be quite fun. It's noodles on the go or uh, like an instant pot noodle type thing, but like a healthier one, I guess. So I'm not putting it in a jar because quite frankly, I don't think I'll be able to get enough food in there to fill me up and I'd rather minimise my chances of being hungry. So I'm going to use my one of my big glass pots um, and go from there. Now, I did put on the shopping list to get, sorry about data making noise, um, I did put on the shopping list to get um, rice noodles, like rice vermicelli. I obviously didn't get them because I already have them. And these are the ones I use, they're whole grain rice vermicelli and you can get these in like the larger supermarkets. So, not Tesco and Cam. Anywho, so I'm gonna put like two of these nests of noodles on the bottom then just layer up the veg on top and then put miso paste, soy sauce, and then tomorrow at work, I just need to pour over uh, hot water, let it sit for a bit, and then that's an instant lunch. Like, I think it's such a good idea. And um, I keep seeing that people do this and I never do it. So um, I'm quite pleased to try that. I'm quite excited about it. And then for lunch now, we're having griddled vegetables and couscous. Um, my freezer is in the garage. So um, I already went out and got some frozen peas. I only got this many because um, again, Tesco and Cam, it's a smaller one. So they don't have um, frozen soybeans. So that was a bit annoying. So I'm just using frozen peas uh, instead. And this was just gonna be enough for my lunch now, but I can't be bothered to go and unlock everything and go and get more peas to do for tomorrow. So that little portion is gonna do for now and tomorrow lunch. So I just might not have that many now. Um, yeah, let's make some tea. I'm not even going to show you the state of my kitchen. Actually, I am. Look! <laughs> what a nightmare. Um, 
I had too much veggies for my noodle bowl and I forgot to put the spring onions in. So even though this is jam packed full, I don't know how I'm gonna get water in there. And I might have to just take some spring onions separately, I guess. Um, didn't really think that one through very well. I also still have spare veg left um, here. So I'm gonna use that um, tonight because um, I'm having, I think, courgette again tonight. Um, and then my lunch, oh my God. That couscous is so tasty, it must be said. So, um, obviously just carrot, courgette, asparagus, uh, natural yogurt, and then the couscous is just literally couscous stock, garlic, lemon, and then some fresh mint and black pepper. So I'm gonna get eat because I'm hungry. I just wanted to share with you the gorgeous walk that I went on later on. Um, this is Frampton on Seven, and Saul Junction in a moment. Um, this is a place where I come walking quite a lot. As you can see, it is canals and uh, that's the bridge opening there. And it is just gorgeous. Um, this looks like such a lovely sunny day, but actually it was about four o'clock and it was really chilly, um, but it was such a nice walk. As you saw, I've been out on a walk this evening with my mum. Um, it was more late afternoon actually, but now the clocks have gone back, it's uh, got dark really early. So I'm just gonna start prepping for tea. Um, I'm not hungry yet. I'm gonna make homemade, sewing world friendly gravy. This is a recipe I found on their um, uh, app, but I've not made it before, so hopefully it's nice. Um, basically, the ingredients are here. We have an onion, a small carrot, half a celery stick, 60 grams of mushrooms, although this weighed at 75, but you know, it's two mushrooms. Two cloves of garlic, I've just got one giant one. A medium potato, stock cube, some tomato puree, thyme, dried thyme, and some marmite. Um, and literally all we're going to do is just chop up these guys and then saute them and then chuck the rest in, bring it to a boil and then blend it and that makes gravy apparently so let's see if it works. Right, I'm sauteing uh, the onion, carrot, celery, and mushrooms. I say sauteing in water, but I put a bit much water in, but anyway, when they've been going for a few minutes, I'll add the rest of the ingredients, which is just the chopped potato, and then these flavory things. Um, meanwhile, I'm just gonna peel these little potatoes. They're gonna become my mash this evening. So I'm just gonna peel them and chop them and put them in a pan and cover them with water, but I'm not gonna cook them yet, because like I said, it's a bit early, but. 
Uh, I'm just trying to sort of prep myself ready. Right, I have my potatoes there ready to be boiled. This is the gravy, I've just added the um, water and stock cube and now it's time for, oh, and a potato, of course. Oh, no, <laughs> my life. Right, so now it's time to one-handedly squeeze a tablespoon of tomato puree into this. It's probably about right. <laughs> That I'll have to do, I can't get any more out with one hand. Then we're also gonna add half a teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme. Uh, sorry for the loud I'm screwing there. So half a teaspoon, so we're looking at like, no, that's a bit much, oh well. It'll just be nice and tiny and then half a tablespoon of meal mate marmite. My mate marmite. Remember those adverts? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Right, half a tablespoon. It's slipping out my hand, I can... There we go. Perfect. So I'll just give all this a mix together and bring it to the boil and just let it simmer for 20 minutes and then we will be blending it. And I hope it's nice because this seems like a really good recipe for gravy because it's a sin free, it's got some vegetables in it and it's, you know, it's gonna make way more than one portion. So my plan is just to freeze the rest. Right, I've just turned off the extractor because it makes too much noise, but the gravy is looking really red. I'm not sure how I feel about red gravy, um, but I don't know how it's gonna look when it's blended. So, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully it'll be a bit better. So I'm just using this time in between faffing about, you know, what else do you do on a Sunday evening? Um, I forgot to chop spring onions to go with my lunch tomorrow. So I've just chopped spring onions. So I'll take those with me tomorrow to work. And then also we haven't prepped breakfast yet for tomorrow. And it's just super simple, fruit, yogurt, and granola. Um, the actual thing on the menu is like, the menu is uh, cereal, milk or yogurt and fruit. Um, actually I added the yogurt, that's a total lie. So, um, cause I don't really want to have granola and milk cause it just seems like such a tiny amount. And the only cereal I want to have is granola, quite frankly. This is my granola. Um, I am obsessed with this stuff. It's so good. Um, I've tried the other flavors. I'm not that fast. Um, I mean, they're okay, but they're not a patch on this one. This one is, the way forward. So um, the coconut, cashew and almond. Um, and you can have 35 grams of this for your healthy extra B choice. So I'm gonna have, obviously measure that out now. Uh, fruit wise, I'm having um, blueberries, strawberries and raspberries. So that'll be nice, maybe a banana as well. Um, if I don't have banana in my breakfast, which I might not, then I'll take it as a, um, a snack in the day, so that's cool. I bought enough bananas to do that because I do like a banana as a snack. Um, and yogurt wise, um, stupid Tesco <laughs> didn't have my favorite yogurt. Again, um, you can choose any of the yogurts that you like, any vegan yogurt. Just remember to check the sins. Um, I like the Alpro plain with coconut. Um, I am a creature of habit, um, but quite frankly, none of the others are anywhere near as nice. So why change? Um, I don't like the flavoured ones when I'm having it with granola and fruit, um, but I do like the Alpro now added sugar, um, cherry one and the mango one as well. They're really nice, but to have on their own for my personal preference. Um, anyway, so Tesco didn't have any yogurt. Um, it's 100 grams for half a sin for the Alpro plain with coconut. Um, I actually have about 100 grams left in work, so I'll just use the bottom of that pot and then I'll buy some more because I think we need some more later in the week. In fact, we need some on Tuesday, so I'll have to go to the shop tomorrow, that's fine. Um, there's a few other bits that I'm gonna need anyway. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you this when I've got it. Right, it felt like forever, but I'm finally like organized. So I have, um, 
Um, I've made the gravy. Hang on, I'm just going to flip. Right, um, this is what the gravy looks like. And to be honest, it just tastes like vegetable soup. So, with a bit of marmite in. So mixed results there. Um, I mean, it's fine, but yeah, I don't know why I thought that was going to be like gravy. Anyway, it's it's pleasant, so it'll do. It's sin free. Um, I've got three for the freezer, so fine, that'll do for another day. Um, I've prepped stuff for tomorrow, like I said, I've chopped up my spring onions, got my 35 grams of granola measured out, and I've got my berries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So that will be topped with yogurt and granola tomorrow. Um, and then I have chopped my veg for this evening. I've got green beans and broccoli, and of course, that courgette that you've seen loitering all day um, after it was too much to fit in my noodles pot for tomorrow lunchtime. Um, my potatoes, as I said earlier, are there. Like I said, that's the food waste bag, just ignore that. And then to go with my dinner, oh, obviously the one in the cup here is gonna be for tonight, because I'll microwave that. And then my sausages, I'm having tofurkey Italian sausages. These are four sins each, so they're a bit of a sin investment, but they need using, and they're so good. They're so yummy and so filling. Tofurkey sausages, you genuinely only need two, and that's like, and they are filling. Um, so yeah. So that'll be my dinner is eight sins. Obviously I had fourth breakfast, that puts me on 12 sins. So I'm happy with that. Um, and I think that's a pretty decent day. Um, that's entirely optional. It could have been a sin-free day, um, but it is what it is. Righty ho, all done. So this is my dinner. I should have shown you plating up really and making the mash, but sorry about that. I mean, mash is mash. It's um, obviously the boiled potatoes. I then added a small amount of stock, some black pepper, a tablespoon of nooch, and a big glug of other sweetened almond milk. Um, I haven't used my second healthy extra A, so that can just come from that. I'm not uh, obviously going to send that. Um, my two tofurkey Italian sausages, my hordes of veg. This is literally, you can't really tell <laughs> anymore because I put everything in, but this is literally like half a bowl of veg. Um, and uh, yeah, the gravy, which honestly, it just looks crap, doesn't it? But I mean, it's tasty enough, so it will do. Um, so I'm gonna go eat this and um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this gravy again, but certainly um, interesting experiment. <laughs>